One thing I've been wanting to update on my house for a while is the door lock to the garage. As you can see, it's a pretty grimy one. It's also pretty low quality. I actually had the key get stuck on the other side and then wouldn't come out. So I ended up actually having to just break the key in there to be able to get my keychain back. But uh, I'm gonna replace that junk today with a nice modern keypad one. Um, the only downer is this door is kind of disgusting, so I'm going to do this now and later I'm actually going to end up taking off this door and painting it. But for today, I'm content to just be able to get in through my garage again, as this one currently doesn't allow me to enter the house through the garage due to it being broken. So I'm going to show you guys how to take this off, and then I will show you how to install the new one. Step one, let's take out the bolts. Get a drill. Head and undo it. Alright, undo that. That messes out. One slight mistake I sort of made is to not have unlocked this first, but you could always do the following. FYI. That's that. So let's get on to the other side over here. So this piece of junk is not even properly on. I'm gonna go ahead and say, take this junk out. So that's out. That leaves just one component to remove. That is inside the door frame. Let's take that guy out. Some very nice screws. Get this little gasket out of here. So that's a removal process. Now let's start on the installation. So here's the next part of this install. We gotta install a new striker plate. That's what came in the box. Kind of line it here. Looks like one of the bolt holes that's existing will align. So I'm gonna pop that one in, and then I have to drill another hole for this one. Unfortunately, they did a really, really bad job of this. Like, this is just terrible fit. I do like these screws they used. They're nice and long and sturdy. So this. This rounded front always goes toward the direction that the door swings in from. You'll notice there's also this tab back here. That's supposed to grab in there, in the hole. If I put this in the right position, none of this is really matching up. But I'm gonna try it with here first, see if it works, and if not, then move it. Not sure how good that's gonna be, but oh well. I always drill new holes, so. Not too, too concerned here. Okay. It's actually a hole here already. Hopefully that won't be an issue, but we'll find out now. So the first part of this install is to install this piece first. Always make sure that the angle faces the direction the door closes to, right? Faces the striker plate. And just place this here for now. So this is the side that faces you. I unscrewed the battery cover. So when you attach this to the other side, the wires have to come in through here and out this way. So I'm gonna try for that. With that mounted, it's time to mount the keypad and the internal portion of this door lock. So first order of business is keypad goes 
on the outside right the side where you're going to be accessing the inside of the house or accessing whatever the secure area happens to be All right once you get that in you want your wire popping up here the next order of business is you've got to get that wire in through kind of this hole here it's indicated by sticker best way to do it is actually to flip this upside down since this thing's kind of facing upward all right get it to pop in and then turn that and align it I want to say that that's that all right so we got that in there now we need to get our screws one goes here one goes here all right so one screw here one screw here and we'll just start turning those in lightly till i feel them catch they're catching so the next thing is kind of orient this so it's parallel to the door. See that I'm happy with the other side as well. I think that that's good. Then we'll finish tightening the screws. Don't overdo it. You don't want to pop the screws either. You want them nice and firm. But that's it. That's that. You could Loctite those in a little bit if you want some extra security, like some blue Loctite. I don't have any at the moment, but when I take this off to repaint this door, I'm going to go ahead and do that. With that done, I've got to put on the latches, put on the door handles, if you will. So door handles face toward the hinges of the door. Do not do it the other way around because then your door won't close. Put one in. All right, put the other one. As I said, toward the hinges, never toward the edge of the door. There you go. See, I do that, nothing happens, not actuating that, but I use the in one and it works. Now to hope that this door isn't so janky that I can't put in the screws that hold that inner striker on, because the other one wasn't on properly, but uh, I guess we'll find out now, won't we? So that seems to be doing nothing. Not even long enough to grab anything. So I ended up having to use some thicker screws that I had laying around, but I was able to get that going. But yeah, yet another thing I find in this house that makes me not happy about it. At this point, all I have to do is make the connections for the battery wiring and then install the battery itself. All I do is pull this, pop this guy into it. All right, that's connected. And put the battery in here. in back here and then we put the cover on Once you've installed the door lock, the next part is to program it. And in order to do that, first you're going to enter the six digit programming code that comes with it. Then you'll press where it says slage or slage, however you pronounce that. Then you'll choose one or two. One is to add a passcode, two is to delete. Obviously, we've just installed this, so we're going to be hitting one. You'll enter your user code to add or delete. 
and then you'll wait for three orange lights and three beeps, followed by re-entering the code, and you'll get one green light and one long beep that'll confirm that it has accepted your passcode. And at that point, you're completely done with the installation. I won't show you guys me going directly through that because I don't really want to do this twice and have to, you know, show all you guys my password. I've now got my code programmed in the door. So you see right now if I turn this, nothing happens. This stays in. But if I put in my code, you'll see there's a green flash. And when I turn this lever, it goes in. And there you have it. That's the full install process.